In October 2024, NASA's Clipper spaceship is due to begin its long voyage to Europa, one of the many moons of the planet Jupiter. Europa and Jupiter's three other largest moons, Io, Ganymede, and Callisto, were the first moons discovered beyond Earth. They are called the Galilean moons after Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei, who first observed them with a homemade telescope in January 1610. The spacecraft will fly past Mars, then loop back past Earth, using the gravity of each planet to increase its momentum. These so-called gravity assists will provide Europa Clipper with the velocity it needs to reach Jupiter by the year 2030. The name Clipper goes back to the Clipper ships that sailed across Earth's oceans in the 19th century. The Clipper ships were streamlined, three-masted vessels known for their grace and speed. Clipper's main mission plan includes more than 40 flybys of Europa, during which the spacecraft will photograph the Moon's icy surface with its high-resolution cameras, and investigate its composition and the structure of its outer shell. Jupiter is a long way from the Sun's warmth, so you might expect Europa to be frozen solid. But scientists believe that the constant tidal forces that Jupiter exerts on Europa are enough to generate heat in its core. Scientists are almost certain that hidden beneath the surface of Europa is a saltwater ocean with maybe twice as much water as all the oceans on Earth. Just like the hydrothermal vents that were discovered in Earth's deep oceans in the 1970s, Europa's hidden ocean might support exotic alien life that feeds off the warmth and nutrients coming from the Moon's core. Europa may be one of the most promising places in our solar system to find environments suitable for some form of life beyond Earth. We have always been fascinated with the idea of life beyond Earth. Europa, with its liquid water ocean and abundant energy source presents an intriguing opportunity for us to search for life beyond our own planet. Building a spacecraft that can survive a long journey through space and endure the harsh radiation around Jupiter is a huge task. NASA's team of scientists, engineers, and technicians have been working tirelessly to ensure that the spacecraft is equipped with the latest technology to carry out its mission. Clipper will take a variety of instruments to Europa to study the Moon's surface, composition, and potential habitability, including a high-resolution camera, a thermal instrument, and a magnetometer. These instruments will allow scientists to gather data and images of Europa's surface, providing valuable insights into its structure and its potential for life. The core of Clipper is about the size of a large car, but with its solar arrays deployed, Clipper spans more than 30 meters, about the length of a basketball court. As well as the scientific instruments on board, Clipper will also be carrying a message from the people of planet Earth. The spacecraft will carry a metal plate bearing a unique design etched with names, poetry and artwork symbolizing humanity. Decorated on both sides and made of the rare metal tantalum, the triangular plate will seal the spacecraft's sensitive electronics inside a vault made of thick sheets of aluminum to protect them from Jupiter's harsh radiation. NASA has a long history of sending names and meaningful designs aboard missions. When NASA's twin Voyager probes lifted off to explore the solar system just weeks apart in 1977, they carried identical golden records designed as the first interstellar message from humankind to potential intelligent life in the cosmos. The records had both audio and visuals that aimed to capture Earth's diversity of life and culture, including greetings in 59 human languages and 115 images of life. Now it's Europa Clipper's turn to carry on that tradition, sharing a design that illustrates why humans are driven to explore the cosmos. On the inside of the Clipper's avionics vault is a silicon microchip stenciled with more than 2.6 million names submitted by the public. 
The microchip is at the center of a design that shows a bottle floating within the orbit of Jupiter to symbolize that it serves as a cosmic message in a bottle. Below the bottle, the design features an original poem by U.S. poet laureate Ada Lamone, etched in her handwriting. The side of the plate facing the inside of the vault also includes an etching of the Drake equation, developed by the late astronomer Frank Drake of the University of California to estimate the possibility of finding advanced life beyond Earth. The equation remains an important part of astrobiological research as scientists search for evidence of life beyond our planet. The external side of the plate carries visual representations of speech that depict the word water in 103 languages from around the world. At the heart of the spiral is a symbol that means water in American Sign Language. The message of connection through water, essential for all forms of life as we know it, perfectly illustrates Earth's tie to this mysterious ocean world we are setting out to explore. Over the course of the mission, the spacecraft will investigate nearly the entire moon. This will be the closest we have ever been to Europa, and the information gathered will be crucial in our search for life beyond Earth. The data and images collected by the Europa Clipper mission will not only help us understand the potential for life on Europa but also provide valuable insights into the Moon's formation. This information will be crucial for future missions to Europa and other icy moons in our solar system. As we embark on this exciting journey to Europa, we are reminded of how far we have come and how much more there is to discover. Who knows what secrets this icy moon may hold? The Europa Clipper mission is just the beginning. In Praise of Mystery A Poem for Europa Arching under the night sky Inky with black expansiveness, we point to the planets we know. We pin quick wishes on stars. From Earth, we read the sky as if it is an unerring book of the universe, expert and evident. Still, there are mysteries below our sky. The whale song, the songbird singing its call in the bough of a wind-shaken tree. We are creatures of constant awe, curious at beauty, at leaf and blossom, at grief and pleasure, sun and shadow. Of rain, each rivulet, each pulse, each vein. O oh, second moon, we too are made of water of vast and beckoning seas. We too are made of wonders, of great and ordinary loves, of small invisible worlds, of a need to call out through the dark.